Okay, what's going on guys? David here again, and we're going to cover using some of these variables. So I want to focus a little bit more on this string variable that we've got here. It's going to throw loads of errors here, as you can see on these number variables, because we just got rid of the declaration. That's a technical term. When we put int number colon, or semicolon, we're, that's called a declaration because we're telling the computer we wanted this variable, basically. So, what I can actually do is I can write console.writeline message, which is nothing new. We knew we could print out variables before. And, but I'm going to do something weird here. So, we're going to say message is equal to console.readline. And if you remember what I said in the first tutorial, about how console.readline is actually going to allow us to type in text in the console basically. So, and we hit enter to end our text entry. So, the, we want to say anything we enter in the console, when we finish entering it, stick it in the string variable we made up here. And then we're going to print it, and then we're going to call the console.readline so that the program doesn't exit immediately. Okay. So, just print this out. Or we'll run it, I should say. Right, so we've got nothing in the console because it wants us to input something. So let's say C she C she C sharp tutorials rock exclamation rock. And it's gonna print that because we said message is gonna be equal to console.readline and then we did console.write line message. So that's pretty cool. Um so now I'm going to go over some basic, something called concatenation. It uh, sounds cool, and it's something to impress people with, but you know the meaning of it. Um, so we're going to basically create a name generator here. Um, well, not name generator, but a name getter. So we're going to say, we're going to create a string, we're going to call it first name. And then we're going to create another string, and it's just going to be called second name. And we can get rid of this over 9,000. It's in here, and in fact, we don't even need to assign this, we can just declare it. As I said, when we put equal sign next to it, we're assigning it a value. When we put it here, we're, when we put it there, we're just declaring it. But we can do a declaration and an assignment in the same line. There's a lot of terminology that comes along with this. So, we're going to say first name, it's going to be equal to console.readline. The second name is going to be to console.readline. Um, and let's polish this up a bit. We'll put console.writeline, I don't know, something like please enter your first name. And then it's going to ask for the first name, and then please enter your second name. Okay, and that's going to come out like that, it's, we're going to enter it in. And now comes the issue, we want to print out their whole name on one line, but we've got the first name and the second name sold in two different variables. So, what we can do is we can use something called concatenation, which is when we stick two strings together, basically. So, if we try to do first name plus second name, uh. Yeah. So you can see that will actually work. However, that's not a very efficient way of doing it, um, especially when you're dealing with stuff like integers, um, because you can also say if we try to do like a string plus integer, it's going to throw an error because it doesn't know how to add a number to a string of letters, basically. But unfortunately, we're going to have to use that for now because we won't go over the uh, more advanced way of doing it. If you run this now, um, if you spotted the issue with this already, then well done. Um, I'll cover that in a second. It was a deliberate issue that I'm just going to point out. So please enter your first name. Uh, I'm not going to enter my real name for security reasons. Uh, no, I'm just not. I don't really like appreciate giving out my full name online. Uh, John uh, Smith. That's not my real name. As you can see, it printed out John Smith, but it printed them together. It didn't print them with a space in between. Which makes perfect perfect sense when you think about it. If we were to enter our name as John with a space at the end, it would print it with a space, but that's not a very good way of doing it. So we're going to put another plus symbol here. 
And what we're going to do here is going to make a basically a space. So that's basically a string we've declared here. Did we just it's not we haven't even declared a string. We just passed a string there and we've just stuck a space in the middle. So that's the basics of concatenating strings. If I just run this one last time before we go and I'll show you it working. So we do John Smith and it's now printed it with a space in the middle and we could literally put whatever we want here if you my challenge to you if you want to make sure you've understood the tutorial make it say hello then your name uh... so yeah um... thanks for watching and i'll see you next time